Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as I mentioned in my last one, is going to be a beauty haul. Um, I had a couple of vouchers for beauty bits and um, a couple of bits that I needed. So um, I thought I would do a haul for you. I haven't done a beauty haul for a little while now. It's not, um, it's all kind of mixed stuff and stuff that I run out of and as I said, stuff I bought with vouchers. So stuff from Harvey Nichols, Space NK and Boots and I'm going to go through it all. So I'll start with Space NK. Um, here is the bag. I had a £5 Indulge um, voucher put on my card. Um, I think they've done it for everyone's card, I'm not too sure, but it was kind of like their autumn promotion that they've put £5 on my card to go and spend, which of course I had to go and spend, and I picked up a lipstick. And I finally tried one of the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil, and I got the shade Bettina. And um, it's what I'm wearing on my lips today, it's very, very similar to my natural colour. Uh, it's probably the most near to my natural colour that any of my lipsticks are. It's really really nice, um, I really like the formula, it doesn't feel like there's anything there at all, it doesn't feel drying or anything. Um, I was tempted to get a bold shade but then I thought I wear mainly like neutral shades so I picked this one up um, but I am really impressed with it so I might try some of the bolder shades. Next, um, it was I believe 19.50, so um, I got it for 14.50 um, which is pretty good. Next on to Harvey Nichols, um, if you use their rewards app um, you'll know that now is like the time you get rewards. Um, I had spent way too much money in Harvey Nichols over the last time so I could have either a £25 voucher, a manicure or dinner for two but that was only in London. So um, I went for the £25 voucher because as you know I do my gel nails myself so I went for the £25 voucher so here's what I picked up. I picked up three things and I think I had to pay like £2 or £3 or something to get these. And the first thing is an EOS lip balm. This is the coconut vanilla one and it's really really nice. I'm sure you've seen these before, they're like little balls. Um, to smell it, it smells a little bit sickly and a bit like whoa. But when you put it on the lips it's, it's quite muted, the, the scent of it. It's really really moisturising, really really nice. I really like the packaging as well, I was using a Ren lip balm before I mentioned it before. It's like in a squeezy tube but it snapped at the top and then it was all coming out the side so I just can't use it anymore. Um, and I don't like dipping my finger into one, I use one of those at home but when I'm out and about I really just don't like dipping my finger into it. But since I've got this I've actually not used anything else. Very very moisturising, really really nice. I also like the um, sort of stripy packaging, I think these might be a limited edition. but. They had loads of different scents in Harvey Nichols. I think it was seven fifty. I saved the packaging so I can remember the price. Yeah, seven fifty. Um, and this is coconut milk. Next thing I bought is a hand cream. I got one of these in my birch box, and I've been using it and really, really like it. A lot of hand creams can actually lift um, gel nail polish, but this one doesn't. So um, I really, really like it. It's from Cowshed, and it's their Cowpat Moisturising Hand Cream with essential oils of grapefruit and coriander. It's a really, really fresh scent. It does leave your hands feeling really, really moisturised and I have really dry skin. And it was eight pounds for this small one, which is a 50 ml. Same size as I got in my birch box, but I thought I'd pick up another one whilst I had the voucher. And the next thing I got is a red carpet manicure gel polish in the colour Good As Gold. This is 12.95. Um, it is cheaper to get them from like Sally's or um, online like ASOS with discount and stuff but I had the voucher and they had loads of colours in Harvey Nichols I didn't even know they sold these but they had loads of choice more choice than I've seen anywhere before but yeah I really like this one it's kind of Christmassy but you know we're getting there so I'm excited to try this I'll probably put this on my nails next to try it um, but yeah I really really liked the colour and as I said I do my nails myself so um, it's really easy to do actually as well. I do have a really old video about red carpet manicure um, that you can go and watch if you're interested. I also picked up something from Lush. I picked up the Mint Juleps Lip Scrub. I've used this before. Um, I've also had the popcorn one and the bubblegum one in the past. It's just a lip exfoliator that gets rid of like dry skin on the lips. I tend to get like two patches of dry skin like there. which is really annoying because when my lipstick wears off it clings to it and it just looks horrific. Um, so yeah I got one of these to sort that out and I know you can make your own lip scrub but these are just good and it comes in a handy tub. It lasts for ages, I very rarely use it up before it goes out of date to be quite honest. Um, you usually get, this one goes out of date um, next September so you get like a year to use it. It smells really really good. 
It smells like mint chocolate chip. And it just gets the job done, really. I think this was £5.50. Boots, I have a huge bag. This was actually two separate trips to Boots. Um, you'll see why in a minute. But the first thing I got was the um, L'Oreal Preference Glam Bronze Highlighting Kit. This is in shade number two for dark blonde to light blonde hair. Um, that's the colour it says on the top. This is what I use to highlight my hair the first time. I said in my last video, I'm currently in the process of like going back to blonde. Um, we'll do a video on it when I finished it, but um, I don't think there's any point so I've got it exactly as I want it. Um, but yeah, this is the kit I've used, uh, but I bought two uh, because normally one kit isn't enough for my hair, so I did buy two. Um, and they were on three for two, so I actually ended up with another one. But this one is the lighter shade, which is for light blonde to very light blonde. So um, this will be all right. It's like for the second bleaching probably um, because obviously it's quite light now but yeah it, it was really good it was easy to do um, but as I said I will do a full video on it when my hair is completely finished I also picked up the Organics Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Extra Penetrating Oil Drying Coarse Hair which looks like this I'm currently using the coconut oil from this brand and it's really really good but this said um, it helps to revive, smooth and restore damaged, dry and coarse hair, which is what mine is. And obviously as I'm bleaching it again, it's going to get more damaged. So I've decided to get this little oil to use on it. Um, I normally put oils on when it's wet. I have put oils on it when it's dry this week because, as I said, it is a bit more damaged now it's bleached. Um, but yeah, I think this was about £7. I also picked up um, a hair mask um, as mine are running out. And this is the Umberto Giannini, I think I think that's how you say it, um, frizzy. And it says, when nothing else will do, intense recovery mask with argan oil. Um, it's in a pot like this. I've not tried it yet. Um, I kind of looked at all the masks they had in boots. And this one seemed really, really good. It was £6. Um, I, last time I used a mask, I used the uh, Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. But I need to try it again because I'm not sure if it's worth the money. A lot of people rave about it, but I'm not sure I saw a big enough difference to pay sort of like £50 for a hair mask. So um, I got this one, which was six. I also picked up a little tiny um, Batiste um, dry shampoo. This is like a little handbag size one. Um, I thought this was just really, really handy to keep in my bag. Sometimes my hair looks a little bit greasy, or especially um, if it looks a bit orange. I use quite a lot of dry shampoo on it because it tones down the orange is a, a little tip if you're in between colouring and you're looking a bit orange. So then on a separate trip to Boots I decided I needed to tone my hair because it had gone a bit warm and I picked up the Scott Cornwall Anti-Yellow Toner in Iced Platinum. I've used one of these already, it did work but as I said I'm not finished with my hair yet so I have got another couple of these because they're on three for two and I needed two anyway so why not get a third one for free so I'm all set for hair dye for quite a long time now but I got that and I also picked up some more dry shampoo the Batiste I got the big size tropical and blush um, all the scents are really nice to be quite honest but I used to buy the big ones because they're just better value for money and I use these pretty much all the time they're really good for adding volume or making your hair look a bit paler than it is if you're struggling with ginger or if it's just a bit greasy um, and I also picked up these are the new Batiste Stylist range and this is the Smooth It Frizz Tamer with keratin and extra and Inca Inchi oil I don't know what that is but it says frizz free for up to 12 hours and all you do is spray lightly onto dry hair focusing on the frizzy areas so I thought that sounded quite good. Um, I've not tried it yet. I think the dry shampoo was four ninety nine. This was four seventy nine, and they were on three for two as well. So that's everything in my beauty haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next videos. I'm going to be doing one about my hair, um, what, how I did it, how I changed it, what I used, the kind of things like times I left it on for and stuff like that. But I'm, as I said, I'm going to do that probably as my next video or the one after that. We will see. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!